Hey everybody, it is I. And I'm back from my trip um, to Western Virginia out by the Shenandoah Valley to a little town called Timberville um, to pick up the loom that I purchased. And it's downstairs, and I didn't, haven't gotten any pictures of it yet, but I'll try and get some footage of it soon. So I finished the hat. All I have to do now is sew it together. Um, and I looked everywhere for this yarn, and I can't find it in the stores around here. And, or when we stopped at the Hobby Lobby, my first trip at a Hobby Lobby, I was not impressed by that particular Hobby Lobby. I'm sure there's Hobby Lobbies that have even they have bigger yarn inventories. Um, but the hat is basically finished. What I have to do now is just seam the hat up the side here. And it's a beanie hat. And it's in um, the peaches and cream cotton. So, so basically, that's all I gotta do left is to seam it and it's done. So it's a shot she had, so and it's real super stretchy. So it should be it should be fine. It's gonna look nice. I just gotta see. It. I'm gonna take a nap first, and if I wake up <laughs> to in the same this day, then I will get, find my my um, needle and seam that thing and finish it off and get off the needles. Um. I did finish one more strip, so now I have five complete strips for the crochet along, and I started on the sixth strip during the trip. I've been real tired and sleepy today. Um, I tested my blood sugar, my blood sugar is fine, so I don't know if I'm coming up uh, um, down or something. So I'm going to show you guys the yarn I got from Hobby Lobby. And, um, I was lucky they had this red heart and I've been looking for it and I couldn't find it at Walmart or Michaels but they had like a couple some skeins of it so I got two because my brother-in-law wants a hat in these colors in this color um, so that's two skeins I got then I got this purple and this gold and this is the love, I love this yarn in gold. It's called um, Sun Gold. And it's a little bit darker than that. The end to my left is more the color, the actual color. And then this is actually a purple. It's called, let's see, it's uh, Art with an Amethyst. And it's, this looks blue, it's coming across royal blue, but it's actually a purple. These are the Omega something something sci-fi or fi sci, whatever they call them, fraternities, um, Tark, Tark's fraternity. So I'll make him a hat with these colors. And if I have enough, I'll make him some fingerless gloves to go with the hat. No, I'm not doing any Greek letters. You on your own with that. Get you a little pin and pin it to your hat. Um... So that was that. Then I was didn't have any more yellow. I had no more yellow, so this is just yellow. Um, and it is also I love this yarn. I'm very impressed with the softness of this yarn. If I go back to a Hobby Lobby, it would be to get some more of their their line of yarn. Then I'm because I'm going to be making a penguin's hat. That's why I got that yellow. So it's going to have like a penguins on it. And so I got some black to go with that yellow. But I want to have the same softness because it's going to be for a child. Um, so I got two skeins of the black because you always can use black with very many. Now that's the wrong blue, navy blue. This is for a hat that I'm going to do for Bam. And I'm going to put his name up there, B-A-M. And I'm going to use, if there's any of this left over, I'll use some of that. It looks really good. It's navy blue and the gold. 
So I'll use some of that for the actual name. If not, I'll just use the bright. And then we picked up a bunch of um patterns, free patterns they had. Pamphlets. So Dale picked up a bunch of those for me. And then the last yarns I got was for my for Marissa. I got two of their sparkly line in the it's called Great Bat Sparkle. And it's really, really pretty. Pretty. It's very pretty. I'm not a purple freak, so but I got it from Marissa. And then I got some of the sparkle in black. And it's called Black Sparkle. <laughs> so I got some of that in black. I think I'm gonna do a a purse purse in that. So that's my yarn haul. Um and like I said, once I get some pictures of the loom, I'll show you guys some pictures of the loom. Because I'm going to be showing some videos of me trying to get it warped and stuff like that. So, and weaving. Um, so, those will be future videos to come. And uh, I've got to finish finish this hat, finish that blanket, um, do these hats I promised people. As well as finish my pet forge, which I have until the fall to finish the pet forge. But I just want it over and done with. So, i got a lot of crocheting that i got to do. Um... I finished spinning the pink. I showed you guys that, but then I started spinning this alpaca merino. So I finished that bobbin a few minutes ago. So that's finished, and I've already started the bobbin of it's 50% alpaca and 50% um, mohair, and it's similar to this. It's, the colors are similar. And so what I was gonna do is once I finished the mohair, is I was gonna apply those together and make uh, a two plot and make a sock yarn from it, hopefully. If not, I can use it for fingers gloves. So. So that's it. That's all that's going on. My garden's doing great. Um, I should be able to get some peas out of garden um, next week. And that's it. So Y'all take care. If I can get this thing to cut off. I can't see my mouse from all the yarn.